uh, well, this is an ultrasound study of a young female married one year, no issue, uh, no history of uh, conception so far. And uh, she says, if I believe her, that uh, she has been taking medicine for uh, to conceive, this is the uterus, 7.3 by to 3.5 and this ecogenic line is the endometrial canal which is measuring 7.9 millimeters in longitudinal section and this is the ovary you see ovary measures So the ovary, this is the right ovary. With a volume of 13.4 uh, millimeter, measuring 4.6 into 2.2 into 2.4 centimeter, this right ovary is seen having uh, follicles, uh, the uh, peripherally arranged follicles, all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are also follicles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, there are uh, follicles seen that are peripherally arranged and the central stroma is preserved. So this is a polycystic kidney. Right, uh, sorry, polycystic right ovary. The, um, and the volume is approximately 13, uh, th 13 <coughs> cubic centimeter. But uh, now here we see that uh, in longitudinal section there is nude seen with echoes posterior to the uterus and uh, it tracks into the lower abdominal quadrant, right iliac fossa rather from the region of the uh, right adenexa, it, the fluid can be traced up to uh, the right lower abdominal quadrant which is tense, patient is tender to this region and you can see this, that this fluid is not clear in consistency uh, this fluid pocket contains different strength echoes within it. The other, I will say that this is more in the uh, region of the right adenexa than any other region. However, bowel segments are seen. Uh, this is the bowel segment. These are bowel segments. This is a bowel segment which is floating, uh, which is uh, trapped within this uh, fluid that is seen in the region of the right adenexa extending into right iliac fossa. These, uh, yeah, these are the bowels. This is the uterus. You see uterus is not enlarged, endometrial canal is not thick, no RPOCs etc. seen, no clot seen, endometrial canal is not thick and this is the fluid, uh, this one with echoes, with trap bowel segments seen in the region of the right adenexa that extends up to right iliac fossa and uh, Another, another interesting thing is that you will see, I do see the ovary embedded in this uh, fluid flexion which appears to be either <coughs> you see the ovary and the fluid anterior to it
So this uh, there are uh, possible differential for this. Either this is a ruptured appendix or it's a collection of bleed in a patient with polycystic right ovary and what well, is the left ovary and this is the left ovary it's also polycystic a magnifying and uh, to show you the number of follicles and uh, You see the largest follicle may is 9.7 and uh, the volume of this ovary calculated volume by air to some machine of this of this uh, left ovary is And you can see the peripherally arranged follicles with central stroma, characteristic of polycystic. Uh, this is the longitudinal, sorry, this is the uh, longitudinal section, and this is the transverse of the left ovary. Meyers 9.5. Though the ovary is not enlarged, but uh, we do see ovaries having follicles in different phases of development. Follicles are significantly enlarged, and uh, okay, ovary. This is also left ovary. Now. These are the follicles. This is the follicle, large follicle, follicle. This is the follicles. This is the follicle. 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 So we do see a uh, bilateral polycystic kidney, uh, polycystic ovaries, I'm sorry, uh, it slips from my, from my mouth, uh, the kidneys because they are seen more frequently compared to the one we are seeing. So this is ovary. And the largest follicle here may be 12, 12 millimeters. So, <coughs> both ovaries seen, endometrial canal central clear, with fluid having trapped bowel within it, seen extending from the region of the right adenexa to the right iliac fossa. This is the case of today. Thank you.